Hi everybody, we're here today to talk about how to throw a correct knee. Now, the first thing that you should understand when you're throwing a knee is what specific point of your leg you wanna land with. And a lot of people make a mistake of landing right down here. And what you really wanna make sure you focus on when you throw your knee is getting your heel tucked right into your bum. And once you accomplish that, the striking zone becomes very clear. If I keep my heel away from my bum when I lift up, I'm gonna end up striking with the lower portion of the knee, but my foot also comes in and can touch, can touch their knee or could hit them in the groin. So by getting the heel tucked into the bum, I have the striking zone very apparent. There's only one area that can actually strike and it's very important to land with the correct area to make sure you're doing the most damage and protecting yourself. Now, when we take control of a bag and we wanna throw a knee, one of the main things that people make mistakes on is keeping their heel, keeping their entire foot flat to the ground. And that's gonna impede the amount of power that you can get and make your, your technique quite weak. For example, if I throw, and that's what I'm doing on this foot here, I'm not able to project my hips anywhere past this point. I can just make contact with the bag, but I can't extend through. On this next knee here, you're gonna notice I'm gonna come up on the ball of my foot and you can see the extra distance I can get into the bag with my knee. So always coming up on the ball of the foot and having the striking leg heel tucked to the bum are gonna be very important for getting the correct motion, the correct power and the correct balance for a, a strong knee. Now a great workout is throwing multiple knees, whether it's on the bag or with a partner holding tie pads. When you start switching from left to right, left to right, you can get a lot of cardio, well working, nice technique. What I like to do is make sure my stance is parallel and I'm gonna try and lift my weight slightly off the heels. I don't need to come to full height because it's gonna be hard to balance there, but I don't wanna stay flat footed because I'm gonna miss out on that full hip extension. I take control of the bag with two hands that's my ideal distance right there, nice long arms, head nice and high, chin tucked, and I'm gonna go from my left leg to my right leg, alternating, but keeping my heels off the floor. One, touch down, two, touch down, and then I just pick the pace up, holding the bag and extending my knee down the middle section, always getting my heels tucked to my bum on the knee, so I'm only striking with my knee. For the striking point on the bag, we're always trying to hit right in the middle, just like we would if we were attacking somebody's torso. We don't want knees sliding off to the side, hitting the oblique muscles. We're aiming right for the center of the stomach. So same thing when I'm targeting the bag, I take both knees to the exact same point. And specifically when I was in Thailand, they actually had us make a divot on the bag with our knee. Each knee hits the same, the same target and I keep striking and striking and striking. And then by the time you're done, you have a big divot in the bag that you've worked in. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.